Hey guys, I wanted to make a video. I took some uh, still snapshots of this cart in production mode, or I'm sorry, while I was producing it and building it, and um, never really explained what I was doing. So I thought I better talk about what it is I'm doing. I do foundry work out here. You can show over there and stuff. And it's, you know, I've got to run cords. I've got to get fuel. I've got to put the fuel up in the air. I've got to get the foundry level. I have to do all this stuff, bring the blower over, make sure the blower is working, get the blower attached, put the electric to the blower, you know, prime the fuel, get the starter. Then you have all this heavy, hot stuff and no way to easily set it up, no way to easily tear it down. What happens if it starts to rain or if, you know, you have to go inside because there's an emergency in the house. Um, so I came up with a cart. <laughs> this is cobbled together from cheap Chinese, you know, uh, angle iron that when we had our scooters delivered the uh, the cars or the uh, scooters were in these little cages so I tore the cages apart and built this little cart I don't even have the wheels put on properly yet so the wheels keep falling off because I need to drill a little hole and uh, and then put a washer and like a pin through them so that the wheels don't spin off so I have to be very careful moving it again it was just a prototype a proof of concept the idea here is I can fire this thing up and I can fire it up in the foundry if I want to melt something in a crucible or I can take this and aim it out the side I actually have it lit right now if I had gloves on I could aim it out the side and do what um, the uh, oil burner does on his videos and he'll blast things into a 55 gallon drum or whatever to melt a piston or a car engine or something large that you can't fit into the crucible. So the idea here is, if you get a shot down here, hon, I have little rails inside that this circular item will spin on. I can aim the blower out or I can aim it into the foundry. It doesn't care which way it's aiming, but the beauty of it is the cart lets me move it around wherever I want and actually, you know, do one or the other. Now, obviously, if I had it hot right now, it would require a little bit more care. And it's a prototype, it's a work in progress, so I invite people to actually come up with their own modifications. This cart definitely needs to be more sturdy. <laughs> this cheap Chinese uh, stuff that I'm using here is rather flimsy. You know, I'm the first to say it's rather flimsy. So when I move over bumps and stuff, the whole thing kind of wiggles and wobbles. But it's a proof of concept, and it's working for the proof of concept. So I'm happy with it in that it's doing what it's supposed to do. I've got my manifold mounted here, but I think in the real version, once it's all going, I want to put it back here so I can have my flow control and my air control all back here safely away from the flames um, and the heat. But for now, I mounted it here um, better also would be that I take each line down all the way to the bottom and then do the T right at the bottom rather than here because that way if I need to feed a little kerosene because things are dying I can feed kerosene and within one second it'll use the kerosene rather than having to wait for the kerosene to push more sludgy oil down through and potentially put the fire out so or put the burner out again prototype Prototype only, so don't criticize. Yes, I'm going to move this stuff in the back, probably run two separate lines down to a T at the very bottom so that I have much more instantaneous control of my, uh, my fuels. My starter is either kerosene or diesel that I use, and then the waste oil after I switch it over. So it's kind of cool. I don't need to fire this up on propane or anything. I get it running on a, just an old rag and some kerosene let it start heating up and then I can turn the fan on. Right now the fan I'm using, um, I need to extend these wires because this also, prototype stage, 
It's a little tiny. It cost me 25 bucks on eBay. It is a, this little guy right here is a ducted fan. They use them in RC airplanes and they're pretty cool. Um, it's just a matter of, oops, sorry. We hit that switch up there, hon. When I, uh, when I turn on the power supply, it's just a 12 volt computer power supply. This is a little servo test unit that came, you know, for $2 shipping included from eBay. You can keep it on manual mode, neutral or auto. Manual mode's the best because then I can control the speed of the servo or I'm sorry, the, the fan. No, um, just show the fire. I'm gonna just back up a little bit cause it's gonna. <laughs> so when I turn this on, there we go. At this point, I guess it will help if the fire can breathe. <laughs> you know, at this point, I have a foundry that I can move anywhere, take anywhere. Once I attach the wheels on it properly, obviously, that'll help. And uh, I need to shore this thing up, so I need a lot more cross bracing and things like that. But I don't want to go too crazy with cross bracing because then I defeat the purpose of being able to maneuver the two main items, which are the burner and then the foundry in here if I need to. Um, I left more room in here because I'm actually planning on building a larger, better foundry than this. This thing's really old and it's going to be um, replaced very soon. So. At this point, you know, I can turn on my starter, which is kerosene. It takes a while because I'm fighting against, you know, a whole 18 inches or 24 inches of tubing that it has to come down through. But that's fine. You know, it's a prototype. So what's the bucket at the top? This is the uh, waste veg oil. Oh, and that's another thing. I didn't show what I did in there, but I have a simple bulkhead joint. It's got a half inch thread on the inside and outside. You come through the bulkhead, in this case a five gallon bucket, with a uh, hole saw. Then on the inside, I've got a half inch threaded adapter. So I thread the half inch adapter into the bulkhead union and then I go to a simple half inch piece of PVC. Um, we drilled a whole bunch of 1 8 holes in the thing, like all over the place. It's probably got, I don't know, 75 holes in it. Drilled a whole bunch of eighth inch holes in it and then put an end cap on. So inside of the bucket, there's a 1 half inch PVC tube with a whole bunch of holes drilled in it, an end cap on the end going into this union. So the only way oil can get into this is it has to fit through one of those 1 8 inch holes. I basically created a filter right inside the bucket. I could dump french fry chunks, whatever, into there. It doesn't matter. They won't get sucked in. When this is empty and there's sludge on the bottom, I could just simply pour it into the burner as a starting fuel. It doesn't matter. You know, french fry chunks burn up fine when they're in there. You just can't push them through your line. So So 
anyway, uh, hope you like it, oil burner. Maybe it'll inspire you to build your own cart. I'm going to certainly improve on this one, and anyone who wants to uh, help improve the idea, I think it's going to be the new wave of the future. You know, backyard foundry carts and uh, mobile foundry carts. So this is definitely the way to go. You roll it in, you roll it out, you keep it under cover so it's not destroyed by the rain and the weather. You can aim it out the side to melt a car engine since you like doing that, or you can aim it into the foundry to do a proper melt and um, you know actually pour some pour some uh, molds. Anyway, that's pretty much it. See ya.